Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study about the electrostatic focusing in the cathode ray oscilloscope or CRO. So let us start with our topic. We know that the CRO or cathode ray oscilloscope is used to display, measure and visualize or analyze the different types of waveforms and phenomena in electrical and electronic circuits. So what the CRO basically does, it plots an input signal with respect to time or with respect to another signal. In CRO, we have a mechanism like uh, we are having an electron gun which is producing a sharply focused, accelerated and energized beam of electrons and this beam of electrons passes through two pairs of plates, vertical deflection plates and horizontal deflection plates and after passing through these two plates, the beam of electrons, it is deflected and uh, it is going to strike a phosphorus screen due to which the luminescence is produced and a spot is produced on the screen. The movement of this luminous spot on the phosphorus screen, it is according to the instantaneous values of the input signal. Okay. So here we are going to study the electrostatic focusing of the beam of electrons in the CRO. Now as I have said that in the CROs we are having two deflection plates, vertical deflection plates and horizontal deflection plates. Now these deflection plates they are uh, present in parallel to each other like This will be the arrangement. These are the vertical deflection plates and these are the horizontal deflection plates. Now, the beam of electrons, when it passes through this deflection plates, it is going to deflect by some angle and it is going to then strike the phosphorus screen. So now here we are going to do a derivation about the electrostatic focusing deriving the deflection factor and the deflection sensitivity of the CRO. Now these uh, plates, they, uh, some voltage will be applied to these plates. So here we are having two parallel plates with a potential applied between them. Now the horizontal plates, these are the horizontal plates because these horizontal plates causes the movement of the beam of electrons in the horizontal direction that is why they are known as the horizontal plates and these vertical plates they make the deflection in the vertical direction that is why they are known as the vertical plates. Okay. Now, because these two plates, there is some potential applied to them. So, these plates, they are going to produce an electrostatic field between them. This electrostatic field will be like this. They will have straight lines. Here also, we are going to have the straight lines. So there will be an electrostatic field produced between these fields and due to this electrostatic field when the beam of electrons is entering this field it is going to deflect by some angle. So these plates, these two parallel plates, we are considering the vertical plates. So when these two vertical plates, they are uh, producing the electrostatic field in the y direction. Horizontal direction means movement in the x direction and vertical means movement in the 
by direction y axis so here uh, the vertical plates which are producing the electrostatic field that field direction will also be in the y axis direction okay so when the electron it enters the field it is going to experience some force in the y direction but because there is no movement or no force acting in the x direction or the z direction so there will be no force acting in those directions here because the plates are producing the electrostatic field in the y direction And due to that force, it will be accelerated in the y direction. But there is no electrostatic field in the x direction. So there is no force in that direction also and no acceleration will be caused. So no acceleration in x and z direction. Now based on this fact we are going to do the derivation. Suppose these are the two deflection plates and an electron is entering this electrostatic field. These are the two deflection plates and these plates are provided some voltage like this is provided the plus ED and this is at potential plus zero volts. Okay. Now when the electron it passes through this electrostatic field first its movement is in straight line. As soon as it passes through this electrostatic field, it is going to be deflected by some angle. Here we are having the screen, the phosphor screen. Okay. So earlier the movement of electron will be when there is no force the movement of electron will be in straight line but because due to the action of this electrostatic field the electron is deflected and then it is going to strike the phosphor screen and this deflection angle is the is called theta. Now this deflection of the electron from the straight line suppose this is called D. The length of the deflecting plates is suppose LD. The length from the center of the deflecting plates to the screen, suppose it is capital L. Okay. X is the length of the deflecting plates and Y is the deflection from the straight line of this electron. So the electron it is deflected in x direction also and y direction because in y direction it is deflected due to the force acting in it and in the x direction because there is no deflection it will be go in the straight direction and here if we suppose that the velocity of the electron when it is entering the electrostatic field it is v o x okay so let us do the start with our derivation before starting with the derivation let us suppose some variables let ea is the voltage of the pre-accelerating anode because when the electron it is emitted by the cathode 
after passing through the control grid, it passes through three anodes, pre-accelerating, accelerating and the focusing anode, okay? So before, start doing, before this electrostatic focusing is done, the electron it passes through the pre-accelerating anode so suppose that the voltage of the pre-accelerating anode in volts is ea it is in volts then e is the charge of the electron which is in coulombs then m is the mass of the electron in kgs and we know that mass of an electron is 9.109 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 kgs then suppose vox we have supposed that it is the velocity of the electron when it is entering the electrostatic field. And the unit of the velocity is meters per second. Then ED. It is the potential between the deflecting plates. We have seen here that one plate is at potential ED and another deflection plate, it is at the potential zero volts. So the potential difference between the two deflecting plates will be ED. So ED is the potential between the deflecting plates in volts. D is the distance between the deflecting plates and this distance is in meters here we can see uh, these are the two deflecting plates so the distance between them is small d okay then we are having l d which is the length of the deflecting plate which is also in meters then we are having capital L which is the distance between the center of the deflecting plates and the phosphor screen it is also in meters then we are having capital D which is the deflection of the electron beam on the screen in the y direction. This is also in meter. Now all these variables they are represented on this diagram. Vox is the velocity of the electron. X is the distance of the or length of the deflecting plates which is also the ld l is the distance between the center of the deflecting plate and the screen theta is the deflection angle capital d it is the deflection on the y axis then small d it is the distance between the deflecting plates ed it is the potential of the deflecting plates and ea is the potential of the pre accelerating anode now as I have uh, told that uh, because the electron when it is entering in the electrostatic field there is a force acting on the electron in the y direction and due to that force the uh, the electron it is deflected. Now if we talk about the potential energy Because when the electron is entering the deflecting plate it was first uh, passing through the pre-accelerating anode so the charge of the electron multiplied with the voltage of the pre-accelerating anode will be the potential energy now when this electron it enters the electrostatic field it will be having a kinetic energy
and this kinetic energy is equals to half m v o x square half m v square so half m v o x is square okay now according to the law of conservation of energy the loss in the potential energy when the electron is entering the field will be equal to the gain in the kinetic energy when the electron is coming out of the electrostatic field so if we see in the diagram when the electron is entering it will be having some potential energy and this potential energy is lost in this electrostatic field and here the electron will have some kinetic energy so loss in potential energy will be equal to the gain in the kinetic energy so we can say that according to the law of conservation of energy loss in potential energy is equal to gain in kinetic energy okay now the loss in potential energy is e e a and the gain in kinetic energy is half m v o x square so we are going to equate these two equations so from this equation we are getting the velocity so v o x comes out to be this is v o x square so v o x will be okay this is the velocity of the electron in the x direction now uh, let's again come to the electrostatic field which is in the y direction so if we write the formula for the electric field in y direction the electric field intensity is given by ed that is the deflecting the potential difference between the deflecting plates divided by the distance between the deflecting plates so that is the electric field intensity now coming out to be the force force will be equal to the charge of the electron multiplied with the electric field intensity so if we write here fy that is force in the y direction it is equal to charge of the electron multiplied with the electric field intensity so if we write here e multiplied with ed divided by d that is the force now because the electron it is experiencing the force so electron will be accelerated there will be some acceleration so acceleration in y direction will be acceleration is represented by ay so it will be e ey divided by the mass because we know that uh, force is equals to mass into acceleration so if we want to find out the acceleration we have to divide the force by the mass now here force is e epsilon y okay so e the electric field intensity divided by the mass that will be the acceleration so we have got the formula for the velocity of the electron in the x direction for the electric field intensity for the force in the y direction and for the acceleration now if we talk about the velocity we have said that the 
electron it is experiencing force only in the y direction there is no force in the x and the z direction so if there is no force there will be no acceleration no change in the velocity of the electron only change will be there in the y direction so as the velocity is not changing in the x direction because when the electron it is entering the field it was having velocity only in the x direction there is no velocity in y direction so there is no initial velocity in y direction when it is coming out of the electrostatic field the velocity in the x direction remains constant only there is change in the y direction velocity so as there is no initial velocity in the y direction we can write the displacement in y direction as y is equals to half acceleration p square okay now here acceleration we have already calculated half a y is what e epsilon y divided by m and p square this is the velocity or uh, we can say this is the displacement in the y direction now again coming to the x direction as the velocity in x direction is constant because what our motive is we want to find out the displacement in both the y and the x direction here we want to find out this x and y because y and x when we know this we can easily form find out theta and using the theta we can find out the d that is the deflection okay so main purpose is to find the displacement in both x and y direction now x because there is no change in the velocity so it will be v o x t because velocity is equals to displacement upon time so if we want to find out the displacement it will be velocity into the time now if we want to find out the value uh, of if from here the value of t will be x upon v o x now value of v o x we already know so putting the value of t in this formula we will get y equals to y is what half e epsilon y by m into t square so half e epsilon y upon m t square so t is x upon v o x square so it will be x square upon v o x square okay now the value of v o x is we already know we have derived it earlier v o x is under root of 2 e e a upon m okay so we can find out the value of the displacement by substituting the value of v o x also here now if you see this equation y is proportional to x square okay and this equation is an equation for a parabola so when you see the diagram you can see there that uh, we have drawn because when this electron is entering the field here we are having a parabolic portion then we are having a straight portion so this is the parabola and here we are having a straight portion okay so this equation y is equals to this this equation is for that parabolic part now when we differentiate this equation with respect to x we will get dy by dx is equals to e epsilon y by m v o x square into x we will get 2x so 2 and 2 will be cancelled we will have simple x so this is the equation for dy by 
dx or we can say it is the slope of this parabola at any point x. Now we want to find out the tan theta. Okay, so for finding the tan theta, we have to substitute x is equals to L D. So here we want to find out this tan theta. So tan theta will be equals to okay because in the diagram we are finding the tan theta so for tan theta that is uh, y by x so y upon x and this x will be replaced by the l d okay so here what we have done instead of x we have written l d and this is uh, y by x okay this is the value of uh, y here we have substituted E, E, Y, M, V, O, X. Instead of X, we are writing L, D. And then divided by. So this is tan theta. Tan theta is equals to E, E, Y, M, V, O, X. Instead of X, we are writing here L, D. So we are getting the tan theta. Now after leaving this uh, deflection plates, you can see that when the electron is leaving this deflection plates, here it is following a parabola after leaving it it is following a straight line okay so the tan theta it can be written as y by x okay so here tan theta is equals to y divided by x and if we want to find out the value of x x will be y upon tan theta now the value of y is we have already calculated it is half e epsilon y by m x square v o x square. Instead of x we will write l d so y will be half e epsilon y by m x instead of x we are writing l d and this is v o x square y divided by tan theta tan theta we have calculated here it is e epsilon y l d upon m v o x square so here we will getting e e cancel epsilon y epsilon y cancel m cancel v o x square cancel l d square and l d here one ld will be cancelled so x will be equal to ld by 2 okay so we can see here that this was ld is the full length of the deflecting plates and when we are getting half of it that is at the middle or the center of the deflecting plates this deflection will be changed from parabola to a straight line okay now we want to find out the deflection on the y-axis that is capital D. Okay, so capital D will be equals to this L tan theta because here tan theta will be D by L. L is the distance from the center to the uh, screen. Okay, this distance is L. So tan theta will be capital D upon L. So we can say that d is equals to l tan theta now value of tan theta we can substitute here tan theta is e e d l d upon m d v o x square okay now this is the deflection now we are substituting the value of the velocity we have got that v o x square is equals to 2 e e a upon m substituting the value of the velocity in this equation we will get we will get capital d equals to l e e d l d upon m d multiplied with m on 2 e e a so m and m cancel here e is also cancelled so d comes out to be l l d 
ई डी अपॉन टू डी ई ए ओके सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द डिफ्लेक्शन विच हैज अकर्ड ऑन द वाई एक्सेस इन द वाई डायरेक्शन ऑन द स्क्रीन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन now if we see this formula if all the parameters are constant like for a given accelerating voltage pre accelerating anode voltage the deflection comes out to be directly proportional to the deflecting voltage so we can conclude that for a given accelerating voltage ea the deflection of the electron beam is directly proportional to the deflecting voltage so here comes the deflection now through this deflection we can calculate the deflection sensitivity and the deflection factor of the cro the deflection sensitivity of the crt it is defined as the deflection of the screen versus the deflection voltage so if we represent this deflection sensitivity by s so s will be equal to deflection of the screen that is d divided by the deflection voltage that is ed so the formula of d which we have already calculated if we substitute its value here l l d upon 2 d e a the deflecting voltage it will be cancelled and we are left with l ld upon 2d ea so we can see that the deflection sensitivity it is inversely proportional to the ea now if we talk about the deflection factor deflection factor it is the reciprocal of the sensitivity so deflection factor suppose it is represented by g so it is reciprocal of sensitivity that is 1 by s so if we put its value the value of sensitivity here it will become 2 d e a upon l l d so if we see here the deflection factor it is directly proportional to the accelerating voltage so we can see that the sensitivity if we see this formula the sensitivity can be increased by decreasing the deflecting voltage so if we want that our crt screen that our cro it is more sensitive if we want to increase its sensitivity we have to decrease the deflecting voltage but when we are decreasing the deflecting voltage it is having a disadvantage that the luminosity of the spot the luminous spot which is produced on the phosphorus screen the intensity of that luminous spot will be decreased okay so there is a proportional uh, proportionate form between the sensitivity and the deflecting voltage so that the intensity is also maintained and the crt screen sensitivity is also maintained so this was all about the electrostatic focusing done in the cathode ray oscilloscope or cro
we studied here that when the electron it passes from the pre accelerating anode and it enters into the deflection plate system it is deflected in the y direction and its acceleration because of force is exerted on it due to the electrostatic fold so acceleration is generated whereas the velocity it remains the constant in the x direction and no force is generated in that direction so i hope that this topic electrostatic focusing in the cro it is now clear to you thank you